Tubies and Tubeds and welcome back to Retro Specs. Specsy here and Spudsy is sitting in something I created today. This is my little go-kart and this is my racetrack. Uh, as you see they've got the the uh, start lights up there with the go sign and we've got the little markings on the floor and the finish line and quite an extensive track. Now don't be fooled into thinking that this took me hours and hours and hours to build because it didn't and I'll tell you why it didn't in just a second. So, those of you that saw the dev blog 8 will know that there were several things that Axolot were working on that they wanted to add to the game. Now one of those things was the timer traps, another one was the logic blocks, but the third thing they said was they were going to add the lift facility to save and load and also add in the workshop from Steam so you could download other people's creations into your own worlds. Now they have just released a beta test version of the workshop and it is working and I can show you exactly how it works. So if you drop a lift and you press E it brings up a list of all the things you've created and saved from your world but also it shows you the things that you've downloaded from the workshop. So these little ones here with a down arrow are the ones I've downloaded. So for argument's sake, there's Otto's uh, hot rod. And if I wanted to load that in, I just simply press build. And there you go. There's Otto's hot rod in my world. So let's just hop into the driver's seat, have a little blast around that. And just to show you, it works just the same as it would in any other world. Now, I've never seen this on a flat world before, but it does shift. Good work on that, Otto. That is that is crazy fast. And if you wanted to uh, load another one in, you can simply do the same again. So let's have a look at it. So I'm going to load the same one in again. And so we'll load it in. There you go. So now we've got two of the same design. Now, obviously, you're going to get a lot of lag now because the collisions on these things and having two vehicles in the world at the same time, obviously, is going to cause a lot of lag. But the good thing is, obviously they're saved. So we can drop it onto a lift, press the E, and delete that out of the world, and be left with the one. Or if we didn't want any of them, we could drop that on a lift again, press the E, and delete that one out of the world. Now it doesn't delete them from anywhere else. They're still there if I want to load them in again. But they're out of the world, and that means there's no lag. So it doesn't mean that you don't need to have a garage. Um, obviously you can if you want to, but you can also save them and not have them in the world, and therefore get better frame rate and less lag in your worlds. So, again, back to the track. Now, if you just see when I was in the workshop, you might have seen that I had these parts in there. So, I got the idea that as I just loaded in there two of Otto's hot rods, it proved to me that this can not only be a save feature, but it can also work as a copy and paste. So, if you were to create something and then wanted to create it again, you simply click on it, place a lift, open it up and load it in again. So let me show you then what I did. I press down the lift, press E, and I've created these parts as you see here. So a long straight, a start and finish line, a tight corner, a tight U-bend, and a medium bend. And you can piece these bits together, kind of like having a huge scale electric set. So I'll show you that in principle. Let's have a look. So let's put a long straight. We'll build that. And there it is, raise it into the air. I can drop it off its lift, but I'll stick it back on a lift just to keep it in the air. So let's drop it there. And then, as you see, I've got a little bit of a demo track here that I've created. So I'm gonna to add to it. So simply welding tool, get it to the edge, uh, turn the direction of it and place. So there you go, another piece of track is laid. And if I want to do that again with a corner for argument's sake, then I will just go back into the lift. Let's go back to the lift again. And then select the medium bend. Build it. There it is. Raise it into the air again. I'm going to drop it off the lift, but I want to keep it off the floor because it's a big piece. And when it hits the floor, it creates quite a lot of collision. And the lag does get quite bad. So keep it in the air. Do that again. Up, and then turn it and place it down again. So there you see, we've got this track running all the way around here. So, And you can use this principle to just carry on and carry on. Now this is something that would take you hours and hours to build this track if you were to do it the old fashioned way. But of course using this as a copy and paste obviously works wonders. So as, I, as you see at the start of the video, I have got a track over there and a go-kart 
which I've created to run on it. So let me show you then what I've got. So you can download all these parts from the workshop yourself. I haven't uploaded them yet, but I will do shortly after making this video. So you will be able to download these parts in the workshop to build your own track if you want. And I'll also include the world file in the description below the video. So you will be able to load this particular uh, map in, so this, this racetrack, to try for yourself. I'll include the go-kart as well, which will also be in the workshop for download. So if I click on this, it will shut those up. If I get on my go-kart, jump off for a second just to press the button, back in the driver's seat, and off we go. So I did notice that this track is little on the small side. So some of the bigger vehicles like what we had there earlier with Otto's Hot Rod will be too big to race around this track. However, I created this little go-kart so it can go around there quite easy. Uh, it does struggle a little bit with steering and a little bit crazy, but it can get around there. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, really? Come on, spuds, you can do better than this. There we go. And uh, so created all this track using the principle I just shown you just drop in the pieces in and as you see it saves a hell of a lot of time that would have been had to use to make something like this it would have been incredible amounts of time so there you go that's the feature I found I want probably use it for more than anything else will be as a copy and paste you can build part of a machine you know that you're going to need another part the same then you can technically technically just build the one half of it and then copy and paste the other half in so it's going to save time with builds definitely if you use it correctly along with the welding tool a fantastic piece of kit to have so there you go that is my world this is my go-kart and that was just showing you how the workshop feature works just one more thing i want to show you once i get to the finishing line i'll jump off again and then quickly show you uh just give me a second because i'm nearly there spudsy nearly got round yeah, here we go here we go and then i'm just going to jump off and then i'll show you the one last thing yay and we're through so the last thing that i'm going to show you because i forgot to show you before whilst you press e on there it does say steam workshop up here and it also shows you the parts of each vehicle that you've got. So that when survival mode comes in, you can see the parts that you require to build each of these things. So it shows you every part that you need. So my go-kart, for example, doesn't need many parts, but the hamster needs quite a lot more. Yeah, so it, it shows you that. And also, if you click the Steam Workshop, it will bring up the workshop itself. Just bear with it. There we go. And show you the designs that have been uploaded by different creators so far uh, some of my designs are already on here as you see there's a millennium falcon i've got some other things on here like the retro buggy the hamster the um, wacky racers they're all on there for you to try out in any of your worlds and also i think otto's got some on here the scrap mechanist has got some on here a lot of people have uploaded things so far so have a look at it have a test and see what you think but yep yeah, that is my video just to show you what the uh workshop feature is how the save facility works with the lift and how you can use it as a co neat copy and paste tool so there you go if you enjoyed this video then why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more retro specs and until next time see you soon bye for now